now let me take you back for a second or two Childhood raps take you back for a minute When times were more simple and you lived with your parents Before you went to college and you started paying taxes Remember these shows that you watched as a kid Childhood raps take you back Okay you beautiful passengers, it's that time again We are still at the home location I just got done watching Steven Universe Future Episodes 7 and 8 and I think I got the microphone hooked up this time. Hopefully I do. I sometimes make mistakes like that. But that's the first time I've made that mistake in a long, long time. But nonetheless, we're about to watch Season 3, Episode 3 of Tangled. Or Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure. Whatever the flip it's called. Um, <laughs> But yes, as you can tell, the boxes are still in the box. and uh, I should have did something this weekend, but eh, it is what it is. Um, But yeah. Um, we're going to watch this, and I'm going to try to get caught up before January 12th. Um, as of the recording of this, it is, um, like my watch has the date on it, it is December 22nd, which means I probably have this uploaded on like the 26th, because I haven't uploaded episode 2 yet as of recording this, but... I've got until the 12th, and that's when episode 10 comes out, and I'm going to attempt to get caught up, but if I don't, then it's cool because it is what it is. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and push like I did with Star Versus and get caught up for season, you know, because I got caught up for season four of Star Versus whenever it first came, you know, when it premiered. And that was one heck of a push. I think I watched 15 episodes with y'all in like a 25-day period. And that was, it was fun, don't get me wrong, but it was, whoo, <laughs> it was quite a push. But this won't be that bad of a push. What this will be is uh, episode 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Seven episodes within like 15 days? It's a bit of a push, but we could, we might be able to do it. Let's put these earbuds in and knock out one of these episodes. Three, two, one, and play. Skip. Um, so what would... She's running from a werewolf? Red and angry? Welcome to new oh! Corona. Red and angry. It's about time you guys decided to settle down near us. My goodness. And they look like they've grown quite a bit. Or what you're gonna say. I mean, you should see the treehouse. Yeah. And oh, red. Okay, red. You gotta search yourself, girl. You're gonna have your choice. Whatever made them walked on two feet. That can't be right. Huh. Okay, so is it a person? No, I seen the facial feature. You team Lance? Come on. No, I don't know if it's a wolf. Or... What the heck is this thing? <laughs> really? I'd say disgusted. Yeah. So, uh, Captain, what tracking what? Does Rapunzel have a new outfit? Huh. It feels like she does. Who do I got to slug to get a glass of water around here, huh? For the rest of his life. She really emphasized his right there. Has found a new home here in Corona. Who is it? You will not be destroying anything. In my kingdom. Oh, oh, you're making a huge mistake. I will take that. I didn't time that right. I wanted to slam it after chance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Come on, Red. We gotta go. So obviously she's having a dream. Okay. Red, I just had the weirdest. Huh. Could red? Nope. Okay. Red? What's wrong? I was just thinking red might be the. No, no. 
werewolf, but nah. Gotta figure out a way to find this werewolf. Wow, that's something I never imagined myself saying. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would have imagined y'all saying anything about a werewolf either, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cute. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Made of liquid. Uh, actually, I don't like licorice. In fact, no one likes licorice, Monty. No, I just, I just... You've never once suspected Monty had a darker side? <sighs> okay, fine. But he has the mark. We should at least investigate that. All right. Yeah, y'all should investigate it since he does have the mark. But it's too early in the episode. Really, Lance? Oh my goodness. Wait, you think I'm the werewolf? I saw the wolf's mark on your neck. But this? No, oh, this just paid, paid from the renovations this morning. Yeah, but how did it get to be a wolf's paw print? Well, three people hopped out of their shadows and came after me. What would you have done? Besides, kind of point. if I were the wolf, shouldn't I be sprouting fur and fangs about now? Okay, and here's where we started earlier. Cool beans. Uh, something tells me that we're not chasing it anymore, Pascal. Ah, it was red. That's what I thought. Huh. I thought the treehouse would be bigger for some reason. I'm not the monster. No one said you were a monster. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, Ed. It told me it could help me be heard. That it could use all of my angry feelings and give me what I want. All I had to do was let it. Oh, wow. Well, she turned out to be a hideous she demon who tried to steal your very soul. Oh, right, right. <laughs> okay, y'all. Whatever. It's okay, kid. You're almost there. On, Red. Okay, y'all two got to talk. <laughs> I wanted to be the angry one. Uh, guys? I don't know, but y'all might want to arrest that captain. She is disregarding a princess's order. I mean, come on. That is a very oddly shaped tree. <laughs> Oh, wait, she just told us our name, or their real names. Catalina and Kira. Have we heard their real names before? <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, that's what I'm talking about for a tree house. Thing we 
want is for you to bury your anger again. That will never help anyone. Oh, are we going to get a little bit more Cass here? Yeah. Oh, I love how we're getting little tidbits of her at the end of each episode so far. You're doing it wrong. You. What are you doing here? I'm here to help you learn to master the Moonstone's power. Remember what she put you through and use that fury, Cassandra. Okay, so... I'm going to take a wild presumption here and say this little imaginary, fictitious little hallucination-looking thingy, ghost thingy, is probably Centauri or Zari, Zari, oh gosh, I can't pronounce names. Uh, Zentari, I think that's his name. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a presumption and say that, and obviously he's going to be the ultimate bad guy of season three, but he's just using Cassandra as his vehicle to do this. Um, wow. Um, so, this episode, um, holy crap. This episode went from being just an episode, for me, the episode, it started out as like, oh, okay, this is probably their Halloween episode, stuff like that. And, you know, they're going to do the whole werewolf thing, and it's going to be some oddball character, but no, not at all. They really took this episode in the second half and told us, look, you got anger issues? Get some help for that. That's what they did with this episode. They're like, look, don't bottle that anger up. Make sure your voice is heard. And what Red, I'm going to still call her Red. I know she doesn't like it, but still, you know. What Red did right there at the, you know, standing up on top of that platform and saying, look, I like the anger. I like this. It makes me heard. Instead of always being overlooked, me being this werewolf makes me be the one in charge for a change. Instead of constantly being cast aside and always being told what to do and stuff like that. And, you know, hey, that's a feeling a lot of people have, especially at their age. I mean... To sit there and always be told that, you know, no, this is what you want. This is what's best for you. No, you know, this, 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 and this. You know, I agree. Of course, parents have to be the ones ultimately in charge. And obviously, you know, if they're a good parent, they're going to actually know what's best for the child, even though the child might not want it. But at some points, sometimes, you do have to have the child be able to let their voice be heard as well. You've got to let them be able to vent. You've got, you know, you can't just let them stuff their anger down deep inside them. And, you know, they, obviously these two got the relationship of sisters. They've always been there for each other. They've always looked out for each other. And throughout, I, I think we've had, what, three episodes with them so far? Mm, yeah, I mean, we had the first one in season one, then we had a second one in season two, and then we had this one now. It, it feels like a really good progression of Red and Angry's relationship, you know. Red, I didn't hear, I, I, I can't remember 100% that she didn't say anything in the first episode. Then she had a few words in the second episode that they're in, and then in this one, it's where she found her voice. She's able to actually speak up from time to time. She's no longer the quiet little kid. And it seems like they've grown up quite a bit. Um, I remember them as, you know, being shorter and their hair wasn't as long. And now, you know, it seems, I guess, yeah, I guess two and a half years has changed them. So, yeah, definitely great episode, great lesson, great everything all around with the exception of that Captain Wolf, Werewolf Hunter, or whatever she was. Yes, I understand it's a cartoon, and, you know, you gotta have cartoon logic sometimes, and, you know, but if this was any other time, she probably would have been in prison for disregarding, you know, a princess's orders, or, you know, any royalty whatsoever's orders. I mean, you are in their land, you got to pay attention and listen to them. You can't just do what you want. 
Um, but, you know, cartoon logic, of course. I'm not going to nitpick too much on that. But, yeah, great episode. My goodness. Um, I thoroughly suggest not even only, you know, kids watch the show. I thoroughly, you know, this episode in particular, don't, you know, not only kids, teenagers, young adults, and adults, they all need to watch this kind of episode because it's a good lesson. You can't just bury your anger down inside until it just explodes out. And, okay, and don't worry, I know she ain't a werewolf, but you can't just let, you know, people don't become werewolves, but you can't just let your anger explode out to where you then become a werewolf. So, yeah, great. Oof, jeez. Um, I know this is kind of an episode that's kind of... You know, it is kind of fillery, don't get me wrong, except for the last minute. We did get Cassandra and stuff like that, and we get a little bit of hints here and there for Cassandra. I really like that part of it. They're not just having filler episodes to the point where you don't get some tidbit. At the last minute, we always get a little bit of Cassandra from Episode 2 and from Episode 3. But this is filler in the sense that, yes, you know, we don't learn much about anything except for Cassandra. But it's also not filler due to the subject matter. So, yeah. Y'all know what to do from here. Hit the like, tickle to subscribe. Don't be texting and driving. And as Mr. Rogers always says. And I like you as you are. I do.